You got me staring out the window We were sure the stars are the sign What's the reason why? Yeah, 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 yeah You're all right I just don't understand why mm, currently my videos are just uh, starting when I'm on the move. So, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Betty Mooney. And in case you are a returning subscriber, I don't know how much you mean to me. So, on this day, we were going to Gikomba with my friend. I was taking her to go check some shoes, some pants, some jackets. And this was early in the morning at around 6 in the morning. So, I was here hoping that eh, I'm not going to spend much <laughs> on this day. So I was I actually arrived earlier than her. So I went and waited her in the supermarket. Every, anytime I find myself near a supermarket, I usually get in, start window shopping when I'm waiting for someone. That is just when I'm waiting for someone. This was early in the morning. I cannot eat chocolate in the morning i was just checking that so this was the first stop this was the second last stop hello guys um uh, first of all ignore the mess behind me my house is a mess right now so i'm just from gikomba like an hour I've, it's like an hour ago it's an hour past since i left uh Kikosh. so i'm here to do the whole i of the things i got i didn't get much and i really thank god because i left the house and i told god god i really don't want to spend much today because i was not purposely going to buy things for myself i was taking my friend to get some things from gikosh so god answered my prayers and i only got two things two pairs of shoes i got this pair this is uh, an official kind of loafer. I think it's a loafer if I'm not wrong. I got this pair of shoe. This shoe is glassy. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. This is how it looks. Very comfortable as well. So that is the first pair I got. The other pair I got is this pair of Converse. I, you will, trust me, you'll never go wrong with Converse, guys. You will never, ever go wrong with Converse. So, this is the other pair. I love the sole because it's like a double sole. It's way bigger than the one I have. The one I have in a bit. Guys, it's totally, totally bad. Really, really bad. So, I got another pair. It's a cute one. It's not uh, Converse, but anyway looks like converse looks like so so no one can tell the difference it's not the original converse so imagine those are the only things i got from gikomba today today i usually go to gikomba and come back with agunia carrying things but today i just got two things and i'm, I'm very very glad so i'm going to work um i've just showered and i'm going to work so guys, as I was saying, um, I have just showered because I left without showering. I nearly forgot to tap. There was no water and I was like, mm -mm. it's to me my jibariti. I just dressed up and left. So I have just showered and I'm leaving. I'm going for work. And I think my house is a mess, a total, total mess. You can actually see from what we have on this sofa. So I'm planning to change the carpet, change the bedding. My carpet is dirty, literally dirty. I'll have it picked up um, either next week, maybe probably next week or maybe Saturday or Sunday. I don't know whether they operate on Sundays. I'll have the carpet picked and cleaned. I'm going to put the black carpet. The one for the bedroom area will be washed. The bedding will be washed. I cannot just wait to have a clean space because I really don't feel like I'm functioning in this house when the space is not organized. So guys, will I'll definitely do that with you because I know you love such videos. So let me just go to work, come back. If I'll not do it today, I'll do it tomorrow. Today is on Thursday, tomorrow is on Friday. Yeah, either tomorrow, I still have laundry to do. Oh my God, either tomorrow or today after work. I'll just figure out what time it is best to be done.
yeah. so guys in case you don't know or in case it's your first time here i usually make my own dishwashing soap so i buy the chemicals and come make them this that was jig i usually i also buy uh chemicals for jig i'm showing you the chemicals i honestly don't know the names i just don't know i also don't know what those are honestly i'm just showing you what they give you what i know is we have a flavor is it called a flavor an orange flavor smell in it orange <laughs> and uh colors we have green blue and yellow they orange sorry they have included orange this is the first time i'm seeing orange i've never um bought an orange color so this is the first time i think it's something new anyway so yeah i was in this video i'm making this up then i let it dissolve when i'm actually doing the cleaning then it's a five liter it, five liter chemicals these are five liter chemicals they are very affordable they go for 170 yeah 170 they make five liter um, soap and this lasts me three good months and five liter three good months and uh, i think it's very very affordable rather than buying um the paste anyway we love different things there are people love the paste there are people love the liquid there are people love um bar soaps we are totally totally different but i prefer this one when it comes to sulfurous it's it works magic so i'm just uh going to mix everything stir I, I usually feel that at some point i can use a blender because stirring this thing is not a joke but eh, in a blender <laughs> let me not risk but stirring this thing is not a joke it's totally not a joke
swear I'll be stuck in my ways. But still, you gon' do what I say. I swear I'll be stuck in my ways. You thought I was feeling you? That nigga a munch. Nigga either he ate it for lunch. Bitch on my body, I get what I want. Like you thought I was feeling you? Guys, if there is one thing which really really irritates me is a dirty um, sink. So the ingredients I use to clean my sink is that scoring pad, the rough one. I use Vim and I use Jig, and this makes it clean. Guys, look at how it it has actually discolored because I think it's been like a week since I cleaned it, and this is something which is supposed to be cleaned like on a daily basis. I usually soak. Should I say soak it? I think. I, I i'll just use the word socket for some time but this day i i honestly didn't have enough time to do that so i just went straight to cleaning and scrubbing and you will notice that some parts uh will not be uh white white i'm a clean clean because uh the water we use uh, around here is hard water and if you know anything i can use to clean floors to clean toilets i just want my sinks and tiles white that is specifically the bathroom ones i never show my bathroom because <laughs> um i think it's a work in process there are things i want to work on uh, but it's just the normal washroom we let you either chore shower evil to only that yeah so my tiles my washroom trials have discolored i if you really really know anything anything i can use to clean that kindly just uh, comment down below and i will really really appreciate
Guys, before I show you the house and how it looks, this is where we are at with the soap. So I'm just going to put it um, in a storage container. This will last me like three good months, trust me. The other one last, lasted me three months. If lasted is a word, I don't know whether it's a word. So that is where we are with the soap so with the other someone spice. told me i never mentioned where i get my things from and the prices so we are starting with the couch the couch was custom made by a local fundi it's like it's a year old now so here we have the couch the couch was around twenty five thousand. then we have these straw pillows and through pillow covers i thrifted them from think twice uh i th Nikitambo, I think each was a hundred bob, the pillow plus the cover. Then, uh, what else, guys? You, I think you need to ask me about the furniture in the comment section. So, there we go. The mirror was made by. I keep on talking about this mirror. It was custom made by uh, a, a local. Uh, mirror shop and most of you babes i know people people from tiktok are 
really do watch my videos so um thank you for showing love to her to the lady who made this mirror for me the mirror cost me four thousand if you want it it's two by six feet then we have this basket down here i thrifted it from um oh my god from from the market from iso bagzam tumba that is where i got it from then the the cover i got it kitambo when i was in campus no the, the throw blanket sorry then this carpet is from think twice it's this boho kinda carpet then i have not changed the bedding i'll sleep here for like two days then you change okay when we come here the throw pillow blanket is from think twice the price guys i don't remember the price but it was around no it was 250 i remember 300 250 the throw pillow oh my god guys i'm tired you just need to understand me the duvet cover is from think twice as well yeah it was 350 if i'm not wrong then this throw pillow cover was from think twice it was 50 bob the rest of the covers are um, are thrifted except Zile's Coco Numa that was a gift from my aunt. The bed sheet is also thrifted, it was 350. I got these curtains from Gikomba at 1650. Yeah, then anything else I need to plug you guys? I don't think there is anything else to plug you. I think I have plugged you enough, but anyway, guys this is how the house looks like i have moved this dresser up on belly kidogo and it has created um space kidogo to up the house looks a little bit bigger it was occupying a lot of space in that area that area i hope you can see me so this is how everything looks like the house smells fresh and i'm going to have because it's around six I'm going to have a good night with a clean house. Only that I have not changed the bedding, guys. But anyway, so this brings us to the end of the video. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for the love you have shown me, guys, in my previous video. See you in my next one. Bye, guys, and I love you, love you so much.